of bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much. It's just a blessing. I've been getting all these comments and I'm so glad that you're able to resonate with the videos and they come right on time for you. You know, science comes to us in many different ways to be able to teach us and guide us towards the directions they need us to take. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you like the videos or giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with the loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, you know, especially if they're going through some really trying times right now. Um you know trying to find their soul purpose or even their life purpose or trying to figure out if they're going down the right path or not you know you can go ahead and share it while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it is so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today this beautiful um um meditation is called auto intoxication relief frequency healthy digestive system rife frequencies by Nereal beats and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 learning um hey Oka's, learning is a gift and your pain is the teacher it is you know when we go through those spiritual awakenings i mean it can really put us like it, it turns our world like topsy-turvy and it's like so many of us has been through so many different things and it's like you know certain things y'all have told me about certain people you know have pulled me aside not pulled me aside but you know hit me up one-on-one -on -one and told me the things they've been experiencing in life and it really breaks my heart but it's like our pain teaches us a lot of situations and it's so true no matter how depressed you are it's like you had to go through those certain situations you have to go and i tell people all the time it's all a learning process it's all a patient process it's like you have to go through it to get to it each and every single time and it's like going through those things it's like it's really crazy because you have to experience pain just for you to be able to get your strength you have to be able to go through stuff so when things finally come into your life it's just like when you want true love you have to go through that ultimate heartbreak for you to be able to, to teach yourself and appreciate true love you have to go through so many failures so when you get that win it'll be everything to you you know you have to be weak at certain points because that pain is going to push you to strengthen yourself up a lot more for you to be shy and afraid you have to go through a certain situation for allow you to be stronger and be bold. You know, I always tell people like, Rosalyn, I'm scared to do this. And I said, you know what? I feared a lot of things. I feared, you know, coming on uh, YouTube, doing my videos. Like I said, when people found out who I was, I got all type of different um, reactions. Like some people didn't believe me. Some people, you know, they downright got nasty. I got death threats and all those things because it's like if you're a YouTuber, you have to be able to have tough skin. You know, there are certain things that really pissed me off. And I mean, there's times, you know, when I first started, I used to make videos and would go to hell off on somebody. You know, didn't even put their name out there, but they knew if they were watching, they know who it was. But then, you know, they ended up taking out the comment or whatever to make sure nobody couldn't put two and two together. But now it's like, you know, that's just somebody's insecurity. You know, I've had people tell me they hate me, but you don't even know me. <laughs> you know, you don't even know me. And I used to laugh at stuff like that. And just like, you know, those are your insecurities you're pushing out on me. For you to tell me you hate me, you must hate something about yourself. You know, because I don't know you. I've never done anything to viciously, you know, viciously personally attack you, but you have something against me. It is all well to the good, you know, but it's just like, I had to go through all these ups and downs to be able to be comfortable in my own skin about being in front of a camera, being able to open up and tell the world the things that I've went through, what I've, I endured, the things I'm conquering, the things I'm heading towards. 
things I'm trying to help people realize while they're going through. That is truly a blessing to me. But I was weak at certain times. I was not strong. I felt like there were certain people I had to have in my life. And it's just like you have to be able to walk away. Especially when you know that things are not healthy for you. It's toxic. You know, and I have no problem with telling somebody, hey, I mean, if I love you, I love you. But I, sometimes I got to tell you, I have to love you from a distance. I've had to tell my own blood that. And that hurt the hell out of me because that was family. But it's just like if you're just bringing toxic energy to me and I'm trying to tell you something that's like hitting a brick wall every time I'm constantly telling you, then you're going to have to fall and bust your head open. To Not literally, but you have to fall and be able to understand why I was helping you the way I was. Because a lot of people don't you know, get it you know, until they have to be able to experience that and be like, oh, dang, now nah, I see why she was trying to tell me that. You know, she was trying to protect me. But you only can protect somebody so much. But it was just like everything has been a life learning lesson for me. You know, just dropping your uh, drop your comments. I mean, there's some of them I'm still trying to uh, uh, reply to, and I, I've, I've you sent me some stuff I haven't replied to. Trust and believe it'll be it'll be you know done uh, soon. But it was just like you know I was doing a one on one earlier and you know trying to cook and all these different things. So it's just like my life is crazy. You know, my daughter's getting ready to graduate, so she had to get her back and forth from practice and all that stuff. But it's just like going through all these things, my, you know, learning who I truly was, you know, learning all the gifts I have. And I probably got more gifts I haven't even, you know, fell upon yet. You know, God keeps on dishing out certain information about certain things. And there's just more certain things that I know. I'm just like, are you serious? But I said, I'll just leave that one alone and just keep going because that's just, that, that's a whole lot, a whole lot. So it, it's just like going through this learning process is a blessing. You know, when you find out you're an empath, it can be a curse as well. But it's like the curse part is when you feel everything. And it's just like when people are like, why are you crying? Because I feel everything. And they're like, everything like what? I mean, everything, everything. You know, when we get sensitive, it's just like there are certain things I can read and I'll start tearing up. Before, you know, somebody tells me, oh, writing this upsets me or, you know, or I can feel the pain from the words that you're sending towards me. That's why I'm very careful. You know, if I'm feeling some type of way or I'm very emotional, I don't send, <laughs> I don't send any kind of replies. I don't want to make any videos just because of that certain situation. I don't like projecting that out unless it's like one of those vulnerable points that the universe will want me to be able to allow you to see. That's the only time I do that because it's like certain videos I was hitting on point talking about my mom, talking about my dad, all those things will have me bursting out in the tears and I had to hold that back because I needed people to really get what I was saying. And it's just like, I mean, even though you can do that, I just don't like crying a lot on 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 camera I don't because I'm just like oh oh god here it comes here it comes you know it's just like it's like a vomit that's about to come up and you're trying to make sure you don't do it or whatever but it, it's just like sometimes you have to be able to get past that you know it's a blessing for me you know even though I really struggled with a lot of things with my mom's health towards the end you know I had to be blessed and you know I was angry with God when my mom first died you know, I had to go through that pain and misery of losing the only mother that I had. Even though she wasn't my birth mom, still to this day, that's still my mom. You know, she was the one who raised me. And it's just, the fact is, what my, my biological mother not wanting to be in my life for whatever reason, but I can respect that, you know, that was a hard pill for me to have to swallow. It would be a hard pill for me to come out here and tell people, because some people that don't really care for me will think that's funny. You know, and it's just like, there's nothing about you giving birth to a child, and, you know, that has to be the saddest part. You, you being 16 and have to give your child up. And then on the fact is, where I'm feeling about it is like she didn't tell my siblings about me. You know, that was something very traumatizing for her to go through. And I get that. I understand that. And I have no choice but to respect it. Even though it hurt my feelings a little bit and I was a little bit disappointed, you know, I never was mad at my mom. I would never cast any anger against her, you know. And I get it. So it, it's just like going through all those different things has strengthened me in a lot of ways. Trust and believe, I did cry going through that and I'm just like dang you know my my 
Dr. Mom passed and it's just like my biological mom. She was the main reason why I started doing daggone videos in the first place. But found her and it was just like our, our physical connection was blocked. You know, I felt her like block me physically. And I was just like, wow, okay, you know, obviously, you know, she didn't tell her kids about me or whatever. And it's just like, it's a blessing to be able to find see what my mom looks like. And, you know, I have some of her features, but I, you know, I look just like my dad, but I just have her skin complexion and certain features of her. But, um, being able to see that I have siblings and know them from afar and shadow, it, you know, it's also a blessing too. I don't, I want to reach out, but it's just like, if that was meant to happen, she would have told them about me. So I just don't want to disrespect her and have to have her explain all those different things. So it's just like going through all these things have taught me strength, really strength, really good strength, you know, to have to be able to go through and being able to tell the world when you're an empath, you will endure so much pain, so, so much pain. But the learning process of being able to comprehend the things you were going through and why, you know, sometimes that question is like, why do I have to go through these measures? But there are so many suffering people out here and they're, they, you know, if you don't know why you're going through the things you're going through, you're experiencing things you're experiencing. It can be a scary situation, especially if you are um, not knowing why you're feeling all these energies. You know, why are these voices in your head? Why does people push their insecurities towards me? You know, why can't I block other people's energy and not being able, sometimes not being able to tell if this is my emotion or somebody else's emotion? There are so many questions that go on in your head but it's like I had to go through these trials and tribulations you know y'all you know if you've been with me for a long time and there's a lot some of my subscribers has been with me for like the last two and a half years and I'm blessed for them to still be in my life you know some has you know parted ways with me you know and I still you know send out love towards them anyway so it's just like going through these things has it's been a ride. <laughs> it's been a ride, but I'm very blessed for every experience I have went through. Even though it might have been painful, everything is an experience, no matter if it's good or it's bad. But I grew from these things, and that was my teacher. That was my mentor. Is going through pain and being able to, you know, conquer all that. I mean, it, it, I mean, there's times when I mean, I know I get validations. When y'all tell me, Rosalind, you must be in my head. You're you're telling my story. This is something I needed to hear right now. It's a blessing when I do that. You know, all I do is meditate. I ask God, Creator, you know, whoever's up there, you know, Source, Gaia. I ask them all for the knowledge and the words of wisdom, what they want me to talk about. And there are certain things that'll just come in my head, or there are certain posts that really get me and you know have my my you know really pulling on my heartstrings. And it's just like okay, I'm going to make a video about that because there's a lot of times I'll press, you know, positive posts on my thumbnails and this is exactly what, you know, I went off of just that title because it really moved me in a certain way. So it's just like being able to help people that struggle with their spirituality is like, you know, that's the most beautiful thing to me, just being able to know I can give somebody a peace of mind to know that they're not alone, they're not crazy. You know, because uh, if you haven't been, you know, you went through that awakened state, people will, will think you're crazy. And there's a lot of times it makes you want to seek solitude. You're, you know, you've been through abuse, so it makes you wonder if I be honest with these people, you know, about saying what my gift is, will they run away just like everybody else did? Would they treat me how others treat me? You know, I know about all those things. And no, not here. I don't allow that. You know, but I love the fact that I have a community where we send vibes out to others, you know, you know, hoping that they can send that words of encouragement or even encouraging vibes towards others way, you know, to be able to help them. So I hope you were able to um, resonate with this content of this video. I feel myself getting emotional and I'm really not trying to do that today, but um, I hope everybody is blessed. I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Don, uh, Daniela Danny. Much love to you. And send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. You know, drop me a line and let me know if you resonate with the content of this video. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Even share. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.